Andrea Koppel, host of the Time for Coffee podcast, where you get firsthand career advice into the jobs and industries that interest you the most. And before we start today's show, I have a quick favor to ask you. If you haven't already, I'd be incredibly grateful if you give us a rating and a review on iTunes. And if you're like me, you need to do it now because you'll forget later and because it's the best way to help others who may be in search of career advice to find this free resource. So press pause if you haven't done it and do it right now. I'll wait. Thanks so much and enjoy today's show. Hey there, Java Junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or ten minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, April Rennie. Your last chapter, the eighth superpower is letting go of the future. Mm -hmm. How can college students kind of mentally prepare themselves to both at one and the same time, take control of their future narrative, or at least the beginning of that narrative and let go of the control that's involved. And I will just be really clear. I know that when you're 20, you hear something like letting go and you're like of the future. That's like the rest of my life. Like, what are you saying? Here's what I want to encourage you to do. I am. And to be clear, I am not saying don't have goals. I'm not saying don't strive. Don't try to achieve things in life. Absolutely. What we're looking at again, relationship to control. We have been fed this diet that has led us to believe, convinced us that humans somehow can control the future, engineer the future, predict the future. Nothing is further from the truth. It always has been this way. I think we're just kind of waking up to it right now. What we're after is just an illusion of control. No one has ever been able to predict the future. No one's ever going to be able to. Also, there's not one future. It's not like written in sand somewhere. There are many different possible futures. And part of what we're trying to do today is prepare rather than trying to predict the future as if it's one thing, we need to prepare ourselves for many different possible futures. And so when I say let go of the future, let go of that thing you think that one singular future, because by the way, in your mind, it has to be that one future because it's only that future that goes your way. Anything else that happens from that, oh no, I'm going to be knocked off my, knocked off my balance. Things aren't going to work out. No. No, actually, things are going to work out. <laughs> so it's, le- it's getting out of our own way in order, as I like to say, to, to let better futures emerge. So I know that sounds a little bit woo-woo, but one thing I think if you're 20 or 22 or 25, and not that it's all about age and wisdom and that sort of thing, but I can assure you that the longer you live, the more you are going to learn that the more you try to cling onto and grasp onto something you can't control, including your career, the more miserable that clinging and grasping is going to make you. When you can let go of, it has to be this one way, because if it's not, then my life is in a shambles. When you can let go, here's, here's the really interesting kind of head fake. People who are able to let go are actually the ones who have the most power the ones who have the most freedom and who often have a sense of peace. When you let go of something, of something that you can't control, all of a sudden you realize, Oh, I have space and oxygen to invest in things I can control. Like what do I do in this particular moment? Not what is my career going to be 10 years from now? And so I just want to encourage letting go is actually really freeing. And it's not saying that, you don't have goals or don't want to get somewhere over time. It's just saying that it doesn't have to work out in this one way because the fact is that's not how life works. 
And the sooner, the earlier, the younger we can learn that lesson, the more flourishing the rest of your life can be. What a beautiful note on which to end. And frankly, the career that you may have two years, five years, 12 years from now, that industry may not yet exist. Exactly. So yeah. this, is, this is all about taking a deep breath and not stressing about things you can't control anyway. April's book, which I highly, highly recommend, is called Flux, Eight Superpowers for Thriving in Constant Change. April, you are such an incredible futurist. I mean, I really I have lived it myself just having spoken with you a little over three years ago and seeing how our world has changed already, seeing how my own life has changed, how that parallels so much of what you have talked about in this fabulous book. I just want to thank you so much for making time for coffee again with me and the T4C community. This was just wonderful. Thank you so very much. And gratitude reciprocated. One fun footnote, futurist. Futurist did not exist as a discipline, as a profession at all when I graduated. And yet I can't imagine my life without it. If I had shut myself off and said, nope, never would have this door I didn't even know was there and has been among the most rewarding. So think of your your version of what a futurist might be and be prepared for many different possible futures. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for listening to this latest episode of T4C. And if you're interested in learning more about my coaching services for confused college students and recent grads, feel free to check out the Time for Coffee website under the coaching tab at time, the number four, coffee.org or text me at 202-236-5712. That's 202-236-5712. Thank you.